In residential area, you're going to see two kind of streets, a narrow street and a wider street. Right now we are looking at a narrow street. So narrow street means you have two lanes in total. One lane going in this direction and one lane going in this direction. Wider road means the road is wide enough to fit three cars. So here we have a real life example of a narrow street. Now I'm driving this uh, white car um, and we are approaching this uh, stop sign here. So now I see this uh, parked car here. So let's look at this example. So I'm doing left shoulder check. Now the next thing is uh, your distance from the parked cars. And when you're beside this parked car, you should always have minimum one meter distance from the parked car. One meter is three feet. We need minimum one meter because we don't know maybe somebody is sitting in this car and they can open up the door anytime without um, checking. And uh, when you're pulling back to the right side, right signal is not required. The reason for that is because we already know the car is parked. So it's like you're protected by that parked car. Now, if you're going around a cyclist uh, or maybe there is a pedestrian walking on the street and you're just going around him, then you have to signal right uh, when you're pulling back to the right side because now there was no parked car. So the lane is still open. When you're going around parked cars, do you have to pull back to your side all the time or can you just stay in the next lane? Uh, the answer is um, it depends. So for example, in this um, example here, so let's say you're going, you're approaching from this side. So you're going around this red car and when you're beside this red car, so when your car is here, then you just have to see how far the green car is. So if the distance from the red car to the green car, if it's less than 60 meters, you can stay in the left lane as long as there's no oncoming traffic. But if the distance is more than 60 meters, 60 meter is um, about six houses. And we will look at some real life examples as well. So if the distance is more than 60 meters, you are required to pull back to your side and then uh, signal and shoulder check again when you're pulling out to go around this green car. All right, so here we have a quick uh, real life example. Now, I'm, uh, I will be approaching uh, from this side here. So I'm coming from this side and um, we have this black car parked here. And after the black car, uh, the lane is pretty much open. And let me show you that as well. So after the black car, as you can see, the next uh, parked car is too far. So 60 meter is approximately six houses, and that's more than six houses. So we can count houses here like one, two, three, four, right? So that's, uh, that's a lot more, <laughs> that's, that's more than 60 meters. So in this situation, uh, now I'm, um, coming this way so here uh, right now I'm driving in the left lanes but after the since the lane is open after this black car then I have to pull back to my side so here now I pull back to the right side and then I start driving in the right lane if you don't do that in your driving test um, that's gonna be a deduction um, so if you don't if you don't pull back to your side it's a deduction for sure it could be a critical error. It depends on the situation because in this situation here, the both parked cars, they are too far from each other. So in this situation, if I just kept driving on the left side, that's going to be critical error because now I'm driving pretty much in the wrong lane. The left, left shoulder check, make sure around there's no one in your blind spot. Right now we are on a narrow street guys, so that's why I'm driving completely on the left hand side, uh, maintaining distance. There's oncoming traffic, they got the right of way. So I'm coming, uh, then I pull back in. Now when I'm waiting for this uh, car here, I still have to signal left to indicate other drivers that I'm waiting for that, uh, waiting for the oncoming traffic. I'm not parking over there. 
Now on a narrow street, you don't drive in the middle of the street, okay? You drive completely on the left side here, maintaining distance, uh, minimum like three, four feet uh, from the parked cars, just in case if somebody opens the door, they don't hit your car. So we are turning right here and uh, now this van is uh, within 30 meters so I go in the next lane without signal and shoulder jack and now I'm gonna pull back to my side and then I signal out. So after this van here that's when I will uh, pull back to the right side here. The more time you spend on the street, uh, on the road, the more situations you're going to encounter. And when you understand all the different situations, you understand what to do in different situations. Right, you're going to grab all that information and you will be able to pass your driving test. Another situation, pedestrians, we're going to signal shoulder check. We are on a narrow street, so I go completely on the left side. After pedestrians, there is a side street. I don't want to, I don't want to stay on the left side. So I came back, another parked car, so then I move over to the left side again okay after this white car the next parked car is too far so i pull back to the right side without the right signal now here we see a blue car so i'm going to signal left left shoulder check and then i go back in the left lane i'm on a narrow street that's why i'm driving completely on the left side maintaining distance after this black car on this blind turn i'm actually going to pull back to my side first another parked car signal shoulder check and then I change my lane maintaining distance from the parked car if I go too close to the parked car that's automatic fail they are very common mistake a lot of time people get automatic fail on that situation kids on the road see how many different situations we are getting guys this is amazing amazing okay now I do need to uh, slow down here because you know kids are playing on the street and uh, so we need to be very careful parked car i'm gonna pull back to the right side when i'm pulling back in i don't need to put the right signal on because i already know that car was parked so the lane is closed so i'm protected by that parked car so we're gonna be turning right next so now i will signal right and uh, i don't have a stop sign here so i don't need to stop sometimes uh, students they will stop see another situation here so now we're gonna go into this lane here because that pedestrian was too close within 30 meters so that means uh, I can go in the other lane without signal and shoulder check.